Hello all, welcome to our channel. So today I have come up with another topic related to Python, which is five different IDs for Python programming. Well, I have explained why Python is popular and a few examples in different categories. Then I have explained uh, what are the different Python books for beginners. And then uh, I had made another video in project or task ideas for absolute beginners and then i felt like now you are ready to do a real world python programming so for that you would need a good python ids so let's go and see what are all those five ids that you can use for python okay so now let's see what are all the different criterias to choose uh, which id is actually suitable for your task or job so let's say it should be easy to use, uh, easy to install and if there are different kind of settings and configurations before using that ID, it should be a little easier. And then the most important feature that I feel is code completion feature. So when you are typing a function name, so it, it gives you the detail about that function it, and then syntax highlighting so that you know uh, if the syntax is right or wrong and where exactly it is starting and ending. So those kind of highlights and different coding suggestions. This is kind of something new. I mean, basically they are claiming like it is AI based, but I still feel like this is one of the feature that I would choose in the recent time. And then debugging features should be again easier and I should be able to debug my code very efficiently with ID so I don't have to you know go to another tool and then it should have a feature to run the code through console itself and that console uh, should be there inside the ide itself right and then uh, uh, different kind of integration and plugins like you want to add git control here you you want to add different kind of uh, security related plugins to check your code is secured or not or to see before uh, i mean pushing this code into git if you are revealing any kind of secrets in your code so those kind of integration and plugins uh, should be easier and also available in that id and yes it should be memory efficient otherwise it's like uh, it will take more memories and it will slow down your uh, process and then maybe you would not like python editor uh, very well even that is very good to use and they have lots of features but if they are not memory efficient and if it is like hanging your laptop or uh, it's slowing down your process you might have to decide to choose another one right so this is also one of the important feature and also pricing i mean is it free or is it like trial version is there or community edition is there so that you can use it for your personal use and uh, is it available to different platforms like if this id is only available in windows or only available in macbook or linux so i would choose the python editor which is available to all of this platform so that if i am uh, working on macbook i will use the same id when i am working on windows i will choose the same id there itself this will actually make my job easier like not to switch to different editors when you are switching different os platforms right so these are the main criteria that i think should be there when you are choosing your python id so now let's go and see uh, which one is the first id that i like the most and this is the most charming python editor pycha it's it's actually widely used id among python developers and uh, I have seen lots of people nowadays are using PyCharm community edition, which is kind of free to use for your personal use. And I felt like it was really easy to configure and use. And they have lots of features, whatever I showed now, like they have syntax highlighting, code suggestions, smart code navigation, and even you can uh, access uh, the DB tables and everything here itself. But for that, you have to go for paid version. Debugging is easier. That's what like at least I felt and uh, it's a freemium so what is freemium freemium is like it is free to use and if you want more features you can go with the premium version and this pycharm editor is by jetbrains which is again very famous for uh, different ids for uh, ruby for dotnet 
uh, and for even for uh, web development like web storm so now see which one is the second one it is again sublime text earlier it was very famous and uh, still there are many developers who are using sublime text apart from pycharm so its latest uh, release version is version 4 uh, which has like lots of improvements over version 3 so uh, i have used till version 3 i have not used version 4 which is the very latest one because uh, now i am uh, stick with uh, pycharm and there is another um, my favorite editor which i will tell you at the end as a bonus id for you so this size sublime text is also you know available for uh, free evaluation and which goes for unlimited like which means you can use it for free so it is very power and memory efficient uh, it takes very less space in your uh, laptop or in your workspace and the good feature of this one is context aware autocomplete so what is context aware autocomplete like it understands your code and based on that when you are typing again another line or any function or any variable it gives you that auto completion part there so this kind of suggestions are also available now let's see the third python id which is atom uh, and it has become popular in last few years and i still remember it is uh, installed in my mac os as well whenever i am trying to do uh, web development kind of projects either using python or uh, uh, any javascript libraries so i prefer to use atom so it has a uh, different like of uh, different language supports so that is one of the feature and it is cross cross platform editing is also available it has also a smart auto completion so other options are very nice like built in package manager is also good in atom so you can even consider atom if you want a full fledged id not just for python programming but uh, python related other aspect as well maybe web development you want uh, javascript support you want html support and now let's see the fourth one which is visual studio code earlier i was thinking like microsoft id would not be uh, for python programming or for any kind of open source projects but this visual studio code has changed my mind it is of course free to use and it is very lightweight uh, and but it gives all the powerful features which you need for your programming it supports multi languages just like uh, atom or sublime text so you can compare uh, with atom and sublime text so it is like it is a good competitor amongst all those uh, other ids but if you are uh, doing a core python programming still i would stick with pycharm now there is a fifth one in this series which is uh, not exactly for core python programming but uh, for example you are working on data science project big data projects and you want all the features available for inside your id then jupyter is one of the option for you it has jupyter lab notebook and jupyter hub so mostly uh, i have used notebook for few of uh, the projects and as it is very famous for data science integration so either you are working on uh, like face recognition or uh, any kind of ocr kinds of project so this has all those uh, features available in this jupyter id so few good features that i liked is it it has a browser based id and uh, its interactive output is something which will uh, give you a clear idea when you are running your uh, code line by line right and even you can share your notebooks with other uh, notebook developer so that suppose you are working collaboratively on some kind of data science project this jupyter id makes it possible so these are actually the five uh, ids that i feel are the most popular as of now there are of course many other like kite spider and a uh, few more but these are the five ids that i see are famous amongst developers and especially the python developers so now there is one bonus for you if i am not using any of these uh, ids and suppose i don't have any choice then i would stick with my vim editor <laughs> linux folks would know why i am saying uh, this would be one of my favorite editor if i am not given a choice to use uh, gui based ids because it has everything that you want to do programming 
I mean, it always comes with uh, Unix flavor and even in MacBook, so you don't need to install anything. Maybe a few plugins you have to install for your uh, program support for Python, for Perl, for PHP or like that. But it, it is the most super lightweight ID I can say, and you will be still using it if you are a Linux uh, fan. So it has also many features like multiple files, you can split those files, you can compare those files, you can execute uh, the program inside itself. And this also has syntax highlighter and so on. So uh, this looks like just like a, another text editor, but it has all the features that can make it a proper Python ID. So now which ID you are using? I mean, are you using anything different than what I have explained here? Uh, like five different Python IDs or a bonus one. If you are using anything different, please let us know. Or uh, what is your experience with any of these Python IDs? Please share your experience with us through comments. So uh, you can uh, again follow FlexMind in different social channels. You can follow me as well in different social channels. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys. Please let me know if this video was helpful for you and you learned something. I would encourage to comment your feedback so that it will encourage me to create more videos like this.